CarMax Incorporated. When we first started CarMax 19 years ago, we had a simple idea to make buying a used car transparent, easy, and an honest process. And today, CarMax has grown to be America's largest auto retailer, employing 17,000 people in 30 states, and it's also one of Fortune's top 100 companies to work for. We worked hard to build and conceive an idea for CarMax, but we didn't do it alone. We succeeded because we had intensely committed associates, healthy and flexible capital markets, good roads and bridges that let us move product rapidly, and cooperative federal, state, and local governments that helped us have clear rules of the road and plan and grow our business. As a businessman, I know President Obama understands what it takes to spark economic growth because I've seen him in action. When he took office, he inherited a massive structural deficit from his Republican predecessor, an economy in free fall, and most importantly for me personally, an auto industry on the verge of collapse. The President's decisive action led to rapid and successful restructuring of two of America's largest corporations, GM and Chrysler. That didn't just save the car companies, it helped prevent a domino effect that would have taken down everything in the auto industry, from factories that manufactured auto parts to the dealers who sold the cars. He also launched targeted efforts that helped ordinary people buy cars again. Altogether, these actions prevented over a million job off losses and laid the groundwork for what's now a robust recovery of the American auto industry. The President deserves credit for this extraordinary success, and I'm determined to see that he gets it. As a, as a businessman who focuses on facts, not political rhetoric, I think the choice in this election is clear. President Obama has shown he has the vision to support average consumers and taxpayers. He understands that the consumer is the engine of economic growth that businesses can't prosper without them. That's why he has a plan to reduce the deficit, to invest in infrastructure and education, to give tax relief to benefits to average consumers, not to millionaires. Because that's what works. That's how we grow the economy from the middle out, not from the top down. As a businessman, I'll tell you, Mitt Romney just doesn't get it. That's why I'm voting to extend Barack Obama's management contract for four more years. Thank you.